Hello, nerds. Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in nerddom comic books edition for the week of August 13th, 2018. This week in comic books, we have God of War. We have Dead Man Logan, not Old Man Logan. It's a new series. Uh, and a couple other things that we're gonna jump into, so let's hit the intro first. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander Worf, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. You're listening to... Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we jump into the news, guys, we got to get through the sponsor. This week, just like the last few times we've done sponsors, is sponsored by Mercari and Poshmark. Uh, I'm probably going to keep pushing these until we clear a little bit more of our stuff out. We've been selling stuff, so the, the inventory has changed. But definitely go check out the links in the description. Uh, you're seeing images cycling through on the screen. Some of the things we have up on those... Uh, those sites that their apps really so Mercari and Poshmark again are our sponsors uh, and I was just informed by my beautiful girlfriend that if you mention the show if you say that you heard about it on Generally Nerdy then you will get an extra discount on top of what we're already really just giving stuff away so go check it out the links again are down in the description and now let's jump into the news coming out the gate we've got God of War uh, this is a Dark Horse comic that is starting. This is going to be a quasi-prequel to the most recent game. So it's just really, really cool. And it's Dark Horse, so it's the smaller, so they're, they, they're, there's, you're going to get a little bit more story and, and a little less politics, I feel like. Uh, so this is going to be a prequel, like I said, to the newest game. It's going to be four issues long, the story arc, and it goes on sale November 14th. Uh, it, it's the Norse version like we got, again, in the PlayStation 4, in, in the newest, I guess it's not just PlayStation 4, in the newest God of War game, and I'm, I'm excited to read it. That's all we got, and we're moving on down the road. Next is Dead Man Logan. Uh, Old Man Logan is dying. Old Man Logan has somehow lost his healing factor, and now... The, the series is coming to an end. We've known it's coming to an end for a while, and we've also kind of known that his healing factor has gone on the fritz. I, this, this angle on this story is so played out. How many times have they done this to the actual Wolverine? How many times have they done this to regular continuity Logan? Uh, it's, I just, I hope that because it's technically an Elseworlds Logan. It's a Logan from a different reality that we get something a little more amped up, but I don't know. Uh, the writer on this is Ed Brisson and uh, the artist is Mike Henderson. The It's the team that's been in charge of Old Man Logan for the last little while. So I just, it, there's too many Wolverines and so now they have to start getting rid of them. And I, eh. I hope it's good. I don't think it's going to be, but I hope it's good. Next, we're talking about the Fantastic Four. The, the books did start up this week. I haven't read the, uh, or last week rather, I haven't read the first issue yet. My apologies, but we did get a little bit of a reveal for uh, issue number six, which reveals the Fantastics, which is another superhero family that has taken up uh, residence in the Baxter building where the Fantastic Four used to be, but they've been gone for God knows how long. So uh, it's very interesting. It I have the definite feeling that the Fantastics are going to turn into nemeses for the Fantastic Four, uh, but I, I am so far off with Marvel with most of their stuff. I, I, I don't know. I, the, and also we also got a little bit of info that uh, we're going to be seeing some new Mount Doom. So Doctor Doom is going to be coming back to the Fantastic Four books. Uh, just awesome things as long as they do them right. I feel like this idea of an alternate 
is almost like the 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 uh, the the crime syndicate from DC. They're the the negative versions of the superheroes. I feel like that could be a great story to tell with the Fantastics versus the uh, Fantastic Four. I don't know that that's the way that they're gonna go though. It seems that the Fantastics are just kind of the same as the Fantastic Four, only they have one extra member. There's five of them and not four of them, so who knows. Uh, but yeah, it it uh, issue six is going to be, uh, we got issue one, so we're about 12 weeks away from issue six. Um, again, I hope it's good, but I really have low expectations with Marvel. I'm sorry. <sighs> Next on the list, we have Johnny the Homicidal Freaking Maniac. That's right. Jonan Vasquez, or Jonan, I don't know how he says it, but if we we're speaking Spanish, it would be Jonan, so I'm assuming it's Jonan. Jonan Vasquez uh, tweeted out a picture, which you're seeing on the screen right now, tweeted out a picture of what appears to be Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, and he hashtagged JTHM, and he said that, uh, I can't remember the, the tweet, he said... Uh, uh, evil comes, or evil comes in so many pixels, or something along those lines, and just just letting people know that Johnny is still a thing, apparently, and we hopefully will be seeing a book from him sometime in the future. Though the art isn't drawn, it's digital, hence the pixels, and it's really cool because it's like it moves. If you go check out his Twitter, you can see Johnny's hair move and his his jacket flutter. Uh, I'm I'm stoked. I I love Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. I I don't care for Yonin's politics, but that's kind of the way of most things anymore. But Johnny is just crazy good. So I can look past it for a good book, right? And then our last bit of news is an interesting one and it's going to be real quick just kind of like the rest of these uh these last two episodes have been this week we have a really interesting kind of afterthought thing happened in the injustice comics there was a three panel section at the end of which ivy p passively mentions that she married harley so in the injustice dc universe ivy po poison ivy and harley quinn i almost said Har uh, ivy quinn poison ivy and harley quinn are married and that didn't get a lot more coverage like i i don't understand it's so inconsistent it's so inconsistent uh this is like a big, these are two of the biggest villains and quasi anti heroes, depending on which universe you're reading and what time and so on and so forth. But they both have done their time on the good side, mostly on the bad side, but some on the good side. So I feel like this should be known. Like, if we're going to, if we're going to be all about empowering women, we're going to be all about LGBTQ, and that's sure, that's fine. Have write all of those stories you want, but when it happens, I feel like it should be known. I just, I, I feel like this just got passed over, so that's why we're talking about it today. But that, guys, is the end of comic books. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place to get all of the things and the stuff. Anything to do with Generally Nerdy, you can find it there on the website, generallynerdy.net. Social media, stores, all of that stuff is up on generallynerdy.net. Or, if you want to support the channel a little more directly, then jump over to the Patreon, patreon.com slash generallynerdy. That is the place to go to support the channel. There are four tiers. The lowest tier is just a dollar. And really, you get almost twice the content for just that dollar. So go check it out. Patreon.com slash generallynerdy. All of the links, as always, are also down in the description. So if you can't understand what I'm saying because I speak too fast, then just click the link in the description. If you are brand new to this channel, please subscribe. Click that subscribe button. If you like this episode, click the like button. If you are falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up, then click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. 
But before we go, guys, before we do any of the things, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.